Um, what do you know exactly about the rest of Maxime Zelenk? Uh, Docs, thank you for having me. Um, we know very little. Uh, according to his lawyer, uh, he is uh, right now going through a number of investigation actions by authorities. Uh, based on what's being incriminated to Maria Kolesnikova, we, we're making certain assumptions. Uh, but following the typical procedure recently, uh, it's not like authorities quick uh, announcing what's really being incriminated and what's investigation has been about. Okay. And do you have any new information about the whereabouts or condition of Maria Kolesnikova or where she's being detained? So we, we have quite pretty good idea where she's being detained. She's in Minsk. He's, she's back to capital of Belarus. Uh, we also got information uh, that seems to be credible that she's incriminated um, a seizure of power. Uh, specifically, the article uh, that she's being incriminated is talking about is a violent uh, change of constitutional order or seizure of power, which is obviously uh, we completely denying there is nothing of the matter that Coordination Council is involved in. Okay. Now, at the same time as these detentions are taking place, we understand that the offices of your Coordination Council have also been raided by authorities. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so offices this morning were raided, so we, we had to scramble where we can uh, be productive and do some work. In fact, uh, a few minutes before a test call with Euronews, uh, miraculously, Power in the building where I was uh, getting ready to take take your call also lost all the power. So right now we're talking through mobile internet. So it seems like pressure mounting and authorities is doing whatever they can. Uh, uh, at the same time, I have to say that I, I think uh, coordination committee and uh, everybody who uh, joined the movement and who is working on this, we're still completely committed uh, to nonviolent uh, protest, and we also. Uh, committed to the law, even when it's unfair and feels unfair and inconvenient to us. We, we, we're completely uh, going to follow uh, nonviolent, uh, lawful civil disobedience. And uh, we're glad that we're known like that by the world these days.